Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll begin to discuss how to solve the consumer's problem more generally. So we would like to solve the consumer's problem for all values of P, X, P, Y and M. Here is a consumer's problem. You want to maximize utility subject to the budget constraint. Now, so far we have solved this problem for specific values of P, X, P, Y and M. Now we would like to see how to solve it for all values of P, X, P, Y and M simultaneously so that we get demand as a function of P, X, P, Y and M. This is known as the solution. In this case will be demand function and it will be the function of P, X, P, Y and M. Because as we vary P, X, P, Y and M, the solution can vary. Okay. So we would like to solve for the demand function for X. Let's first see in plot. Okay, so here is the consumer's problem. This is our budget line and this is our budget set. So this is a constraint. And we would like to pick the best point for this particular consumer in this budget set. Now if this consumer likes to consume more, then the solution or the demand must satisfy this property that the solution will lie on the budget line. It will never lie below the budget line. Okay. So in other words, if consumer likes to consume more, then he'll always spend all his money in optimum. Okay. Let us try and see that why that's going to happen. Well, let's look at a point like this, which lies under the budget line. And since consumer likes to consume more, that means his utility increases as he consumes more of X and Y. So clearly there is a scope to increase the consumption of both X and Y if he's going to move in this direction. So anything below the budget line can never be optimal. So the solution to this problem, if it exists, must satisfy the property that in equilibrium he'll spend all his money. Now let us see if this property that consuming more gives higher satisfaction holds for the kind of utility functions that we have seen so far. So if you consider an individual whose utility function is XY, you can easily see that consuming more of X or Y increases the satisfaction level. Okay. And if you want to consider a utility function, let us say X plus 2Y, again, the same property holds. Increasing X or increasing Y leads to higher level of satisfaction. What about minimum XY? Well, minimum XY, again, if you want to increase both X and Y, the satisfaction level will necessarily go up. So most of the problems that we uh, have seen or we are going to see will have objective which satisfy this property. So that means that when we'll be searching for an equilibrium or the best point, then all that we have to do is we just completely, we can completely uh, ignore things that lies inside the budget line and we can just look for the solution only on the budget line. Okay. So we have learned in this video that if utility is increasing in X and Y, then in optimum, the consumer will spend all his money. Okay. Thank you.